Have you read The Art of Thinking Clearly? I have not. What about getting out of your own way? No. Ever listen to any of Allison Ledgerwood's speeches? I have not. This is your problem, dude. You're not even trying to find a solution. I don't think there is a solution to worrying if life has meaning or not. If I give you the number to a therapist, will you call her? Yeah, yeah, I guess. But is she serious? Is she an academic? Because I don't want to talk to someone who's like all the pseudoscience, you know, feel better stuff. And I don't want to talk to someone who's going to talk to me like I'm a child. In your brain, there are two types of thoughts. Day thoughts and night thoughts. Day thoughts are your happy thoughts. Like, ooh, that tree is pretty. Or, boy, I want to hug my friends. Night thoughts are scary thoughts you have in the nighttime. Like, what's the point of life? I think you're feeling pretty bummed out because you're having too many night thoughts and not enough day thoughts. And you're even having some night thoughts during the day. This all sounds very scientific. I even wrote a book on this. Is it titled Day Thoughts, Night Thoughts? It's titled Day Thoughts, Night Thoughts. I'll definitely read this. And I'll tell you what, how about the next time you're having some of those scary night thoughts, you give me a call and I'll help you change them into day thoughts. Sounds good. Hello? Yeah. Hey, uh, it's Steven. Um, I hope I'm not bothering you. I just, uh, I, I, I was just, I was having some, uh, some night thoughts. All right, I'll be right over. I made it, I'm here, hooray. Um. Is everything okay? Okay in what sense? Define okay. I don't know. I was just, uh, I called you. I, I was having uh, negative, I was having night thoughts and I saw your book, so I thought I'd give you a call. That stupid book. I wasted so much money on that thing. Nobody bought it except for my parents. I can't believe I thought I could write a book. Hey, I don't mean to pry, but uh, it sounds like you might be having night thoughts right now. Of course I'm having night thoughts. It's night time. What a stupid term. I can't believe I thought that would catch on. I'm such a bad therapist. I should just go back to working at T-Mobile. Listen, you're a great therapist. And that book you wrote is terrific. You read it? What was your favorite part? Hey, we should work together to scare away the night thoughts. How can we do that? Um, do you want to play a board game? Isn't it crazy how when you die, the entire universe dies with you? Like, from your perspective? I don't think the board game's working. We should talk to Dan. Dan's gonna know how to scare away the night thoughts. Okay, he's read every self-help book there is. I think I might have autism. We're almost there. Ah, yes, night thoughts. I've struggled with them myself. However, I think that I have found a solution. A solution? I brewed a potion, developed an elixir of sorts to make them stop. 175 milliliters of vodka, 75 milliliters of orange juice. You're gonna get drunk? <laughs> no. I'm not going to get drunk. I'm going to get absolutely shit-faced. 
I've been experimenting on myself. I've noticed that drinking alcohol makes me think of day thoughts, but the more that I drink, the more that I start to think of night thoughts. However, I suspect that if I drink enough, I will reach an inflection point to where I don't think at all. You really needed a chart for that? Would either of you care to join me? I'm good. No, thank you. Ah. Burns the gullet. So now what? Let's see, there's still three hours and 12 minutes until daylight. We could watch TV. Dear Stephen, you fell asleep a while ago. I'm writing this note to you because I can see the sun rising and soon the night thoughts will be gone. But maybe night thoughts are an important part of life. Maybe it's healthy to feel melancholy. Maybe life doesn't need a purpose and- <laughs> Just kidding, the sun is up now. Ignore all that silly stuff I wrote above this. Life is great. If you're feeling sad, just go to the beach. Whee! Cool. Dan? Hey, Dan? You don't look so good. You wanna... You wanna go to the hospital? Yes. But first... Bring me my chart. <laughs> 